talking here about allowing drug companies to promote their drugs for conditions not approved by the FDA. You've seen the ads on television, in magazines, and in newspapers. Then the chronic widespread pain drained my energy. But you may not realize the drug companies today can only promote a drug for a use that's approved by the FDA. However, drugs are prescribed all the time for uses that are not approved by the FDA. It's a common and legal practice. In fact, one out of every five prescriptions are written by doctors this way, according to a 2006 study. Now, the FDA is considering giving drug companies the okay to advertise drugs for uses that are not approved. This could be confusing to consumers, and our research shows most people don't even want it. Complicating the issue, a recent study shows drugs prescribed this way often lack strong scientific evidence to support a use that's not FDA approved. People who get a prescription from their doctor for a drug that's not approved for their condition may be at a higher risk of side effects and other serious problems. Consumer Reports medical advisors suggest when prescribed a new medication, ask your doctor whether it's been approved for your condition. And if not, ask why he or she is recommending it. You want to see what condition the FDA has approved your drug to treat? Head to WXYZ.com. We've provided a link to the National Institute of Health's Daily Med website and instructions on what to do there. I'm Joanne Purton, 7 Action News. All right, thanks a lot, Joanne.